Like my good old friend used to say, without a good credit score, you're basically a piece of shit floating through the river without an actual purpose or use. And the more I think about that statement, the more I think that he was right. Guys, without a good credit score, you're basically moveless and you can't do anything to fit in the financial system that was created for a regular consumer or for people who are looking for financial independence what's going on guys welcome back to the fastest growing finance channel on youtube if you are new here make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button guys on this channel we discuss all kinds of finances all kinds of credit cards all kinds of savings all kind of cryptocurrencies and beyond so make sure you're not missing out and make sure you're watching this video till the end to understand all the importance of your credit score and how to actually bump your credit score massively with these five tricks that i'm about to give you also make sure you go down in the description and follow me on all the social medias and make sure you go subscribe to my second channel where you can witness me and my friends doing stupid stuff for your entertainment guys and if this video actually gets to 100 likes i might as well just fucking drop a song so make sure you like this video if you want to hear me rap on the basic beat that's facts on racks if she not top model, i don't want her all my life i've been going for it Anyway, back to the topic of a credit score, guys. The credit score is one of the, honestly, is going to be the most important number in your financial life and just in your life in general. Without a good credit score, you're not going to be able to get credit cards. You're not going to be getting car loans, mortgages, whatever you want that requires basic lending. You're not going to be able to get approved for, even for an apartment. They will make you fill out an application and it will probably pull a soft check on your credit report to see if you're actually going to be paying your rent and how you're paying your bills. I mean, they will look at your report and see if you were paying your bills on time and basically judge if you could pay your rent depending on how good of a consumer you were if that makes any sense so without a proper credit history it's going to be very hard to get approved for the things that i just listed guys you need to understand that you need to take accountability for yourself if you've messed up a lot and you're trying to fix your life you need to get your ass up and running, guys. The credit score is very, very important. You need to start fixing it. Do whatever you have to do. Find your why and fix it. Just stop being stupid. Stop being an idiot. If you, you want to get rich, you want to gain financial independence, but you can't even take care of a $200 credit card, guys, let's say something. How are you going to manage millions of dollars if you can't even manage a $500 credit card? Credit scores start with little steps. Basically, you build a foundation brick by brick. You start with little credit cards or whatever it is. You start with basic credit cards and then you move on to better credit cards that give you cash back that give you travel value and there's just so many things that you can do and even after you're done with regular credit cards personal credit cards you can move on to business credit cards where you can actually get higher amounts on your credit cards like fifty thousand dollar amounts hundred thousand dollar amounts if you have a good credit score that's why it's very important to have a good credit score and to have a good financial credit history and then if you have a good credit score you can even register an llc take out loans that you need you can start flipping money there's so many things things that you can do that a regular consumer doesn't even understand. There's people that think that just having a personal credit score is good to have like personal credit cards, but there's so many things that you can do beyond the regular personal credit score that people don't even understand. Just so you understand, literally, I know people who flip houses with using business lines of credit and not even using a single dollar of their money and they flip the houses and they just pay off that business line of credit without any interest. And that's the power of credit scores. All you need to do is build. And right now I'm going to give you five tricks and tips on how to boost your credit score within a week, within days, within 24 hours, depends on how you apply your brain. And again, on this channel, we don't do everything for you. I give you an opportunity so that you can use the opportunity to take advantage of it and fix your financial life and better your financial life. But on this channel, we don't give handouts. We don't give a single thing to you. And we don't even feel bad for you if you made a mess and you got yourself in that mess. As I've always said, I'll give my subscribers the opportunity and they will decide if they want to take advantage of it or not. And that's up to you. That's what this channel is for, to give you the maximum value for free. And then if you want to decide that you can apply this to your lifestyle, then it is what it is. But anyway, enough of talking. Let's dive right into the five tricks and tips that you need to boost your credit score in 2024. Number one trick that you can do to massively boost your credit score within a week is getting added on as an authorized user on somebody's credit card. Guys, go and find somebody who has a perfect credit card with a long credit history and a nice, uh, nice credit line and ask them to add you as an authorized user they will get mailed the card with your name they can keep the card what happens after that is usually their credit history 
pops onto your credit report and giving you a 30 point boost. When I was younger, I asked my mom to add me as an authorized user on her credit card and it boosted me 34 points within three days because her payment history of 10 years on one account moved to my credit history. It massively increased, but there is a risk. If you ask somebody to add you as an authorized user, if it's your friend or somebody else, they're going to be very hesitant unless it's your family member. Obviously, if my friends came to me, asked me to add them as an authorized user, I would be a little hesitant. But then I would look at their credit report history and see if they actually can get added on. So if somebody's asking you to add them as an authorized user with the bad payment history that they have, where they just exhaust their credit cards, be careful because if they get the credit card with their name for your credit line and they exhaust it, it's going to drop your credit score. And if, especially if they don't pay the bill, again, you're responsible for paying that bill. They can make payments but you are responsible for that bill because that is your primary account. So again, find a parent, find somebody, your friends can add you, your girlfriend can add you. If anything, they can remove you, but don't put people in this position where they can't trust you anymore. It's very important. Don't be a dumbass. But it is a very powerful trick if you want to get that 30 to 34 point boost. It's very, very easy and it's very, very fast. That's probably the fastest way to get a boost on your credit report. Second trick to boosting your credit score is removing any late payments that you have on your credit report. Guys, make sure you get a copy of your credit report and look over it analyze it please just late payments is the most important factor on dragging your credit score back guys it is so hard to remove late payments from your credit report that i have so many videos on it so make sure if you have late payments on your credit report go down on my youtube channel and watch all the videos on how to remove late payments because there's a very good techniques that i teach you for free that actually work guys if you remove late payments from your credit report you will give yourself an immense boost. If you had a situation, an emergency where you exhausted all your funds, you just couldn't pay the bills, that's understandable. But if you didn't and you're just being stupid, that's full responsibility on you and you need to get that fixed as soon as possible because there's so many things to look forward to. As I said, with a good credit score, you can do so many things with business credit lines, with higher credit lines available to you in front of you but you just need to fix your credit score another way to boost your credit score is to paying off your debt on your credit cards guys the more you pay off your debt and the less credit utilization you use the higher your credit score will be you want to keep your credit utilization under 10 percent, preferably they say 30 percent, but i think 10 percent is the perfect amount i usually keep mine under five percent because i don't utilize my personal credit cards i utilize my business cards but by paying off your debt you will massively increase your credit score because now your credit utilization is getting lower that means your credit score will get higher lenders don't usually like to see where you're on the edge with your credit utilization where you're using the most of it that's usually calls for irresponsible consumer for example if you ask for credit line increase and you have two people one person uses under 10 percent of his credit and another uses 90 percent of his credit obviously who are they going to give the credit line increase to the person who uses their thing under 10 percent because now they see that it's a responsible consumer and it will also boost your credit score so make sure you're paying off all your debts and keeping it under 10 percent another trick to boosting your credit score is to diversify your credit guys you want to have a mix of credits like credit cards personal loans you don't want to have too much but when you're starting off you might want to get like a hundred dollar personal loan not like a personal loan but you know after pay whatever it is that will build your credit history and it will add a different mix of credit lending to your consumer report so that will give you a good boost on your credit scores because lender will see that you are good with paying different bills like personal loans credit cards auto loans whatever it is lenders will see that you're good with that that you're responsible with that and they will offer you different kinds of options from their credit lending now let's dive into the one and final trick on how to boost your credit score guys this trick is so important you can actually keep your utilization under three percent if you use this trick correctly and this trick is to get business credit cards guys when you get a business credit card it doesn't report to your personal consumer report so basically, if I have a business credit card and I charge all my stuff, the balance will not get thrown onto my personal credit score at the end of the month, which keeps your utilization under 5%, if not at zero. And then you can get credit line increases automatically through the banks because they see that you're not using the whole 100% of your credit. And then there's a lot of credit cards that will give you a 0% APR for first 12 months, for first 15 months. Guys, there's so many business credit cards that are out there that you can get cash back with. And using business credit cards is completely different 
cheaper in game because now you're getting higher amounts and higher credit lines than the personal credit cards so that is the beauty of a credit score guys you need to use these tricks and you need to utilize these tricks so that you can have a higher credit score and if you have any trouble with fixing credit score you need to go out on my channel and check all the stuff out that i have on the credit rebuild and how to actually fix your credit score and start to have a better financial life so if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like comment subscribe if you watched all the way till the end you are the best and again as i said if you like this video make sure you tune in for the next one and i'll see you soon